Well, guys, you've heard me say many times I'm not a car lock guy, but I couldn't help myself. I had several locksmiths uh, recommend this tool. This is the VAG lock set, the seven-piece VAG lock set from Multipick. It sells for 100 euros, which is about 111 bucks. I ordered one mostly out of curiosity, but then I took them, and you'll notice these laser tracks are probably filthy because I've spent an entire day going around to two different wrecking yards, trying these out on different uh, year model of VAG lock. They're a little bit difficult to find in the States. I only managed to find them, I think it was, a, uh, I found it on VWs, a lot of VWs. I found a few Audis, a Porsche, and I think even a Mercedes. So um, I tried it out, and I got to tell you, I had not a single failure to open any of those cars with these locks. These things are just incredible. I may become a car lock guy. Anyway, let's take a quick look at these. There, as I said, there are a total of seven of them. They're on this neat little ring to keep them in order. And you really need to keep them in order. Um, if you take a look at these guys, now, you, they almost look like, well, they actually, they are, they are jigglers. But this one here looks almost like a, the Bogota version. And this one, number one has a high in the front, middle, and rear. They're all a little bit different. So somebody at Multipick put an awful lot of thought into statistical analysis of what the cuts of 10 possible uh, wafers could be. Because the HU-66, which is a really common lock in 2005 and before, had seven wafers. And then the most recent copy is the, is the HU-162, which can have up to 10 wafers. And these indeed do work on those, as I'll show you and prove to you in just a minute. Anyway, they did the analysis and they came up with seven possible combinations. Now, these are not exact fits. Uh, I thought that I was going to be able to just slide this into a lock and turn it open. Maybe these were the only seven. I didn't know. But no, in fact, these are jiggler keys, but they're going to be very, very close. So with just a little bit of jiggling, I managed to get into probably over 50 cars at the wrecking yard. Anyway, I did. There are a couple of locks here. And uh, these are off, I believe, of uh, uh, Volkswagen. These are different. I don't have the keys for them, unfortunately. They are both completely intact. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp one of these dudes up, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use these VAG keys. All right, guys, something I should have pointed out earlier. These are jiggler keys. They are not decoders. So if your customer has lost his key and will be needing another key, these will only get you in the car. They will not decode the lock. Most situations, though, are where the customer has locked his key inside of the car. Maybe his dog has jumped on the lock and locked the dog along with the keys and the ignition inside. These will get you in, and then, of course, the customer will have access to his key. They also will not start a car. They have no microchip, so any of those security uh, features, these keys will not defeat that. It's only to get access through the door or through the ignition to get it started, but, or to get it turned, but it will not start the car and keep it running. All right, here we go. Um, this first one, I have no idea which one it's going to take. So the, the approach I took at the wrecking yard was just to start with number one. Number one, really, I never had a lot of luck with number one. If you look at the bidding of it, it's got high in the middle, in the front, and a little bit in the back there. But I, I did get a few of them, a few cars with it. So I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to start sequentially. All you do is you slide it in. You notice how it's not as wide as that keyway? That allows you to jiggle it back and forth, as you saw there. It, it doesn't really need to slide in and out too much, just a little bit, while you jiggle it back and forth. And you'll know pretty quickly, I found that while you're doing this little back and forth action, you'll get a little bit of a fault set, and that tells you that the key is probably very close. If after, say, five seconds, you don't get a little bit of a fault set, it's probably not the right one. And like I said, I don't have a lot of luck with number one. Uh, number two, though, is I started calling it my Vag Bogota. This thing opened up probably 30 different vehicles by itself. This would be my key of choice. Okay, all the way in. Again, a little bit of tension. These are spring-loaded. And just jiggle back and forth while you pull it in and out just a fraction of an inch. I felt a little turn on the core there. I think this one's probably close. Try it again. Uncock it. A little bit of tension. Jiggle. Again, I felt a slight turn on the core, but not close enough. All right. My lucky key wasn't so lucky today. I'm going to go with number three. A 
Notice how I'm, I'm starting this jiggle back and forth and I'm extracting it just a little bit. I give it about three cycles of that, and if I don't get anything, on to key number four. I haven't opened these and I don't have keys. I really don't know what they look like, so. Don't put too much tension on the core, I mean, twisting action, because you'll bind up the wafers. All right, that's three on four. We got nothing. Let's try number five. Getting down to the wire here. Okay, he really, again, I didn't have a heck of a lot of luck with number five. There's not a lot of bumps there, but I guess enough of them exist like that to justify making this particular key. Nothing. All right, let's go with six. Six. Uh, again, that's very similar. I think it was to key number three. But we've got higher cuts. Nothing. All right. We're down the wire, guys. This has to be it. Number seven. Uh, again, it looks a lot like six, doesn't it? Except two high cuts and one low. And wouldn't you know it, it's always the last one you try. Yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, in this case, it was the last key that we had. So there you go. We got an open. I'm not going to try that again. Bag number seven. Oh, let's try Let's try this other lock. It's off of a different car. Has had any, None of these guys had keys, so I have no idea what the bidding looks like on these guys. All right, again, I'm going to start with number one. Let's see. We get number one out here. Where'd you go, you devil? Number one. Again, three cycles, and I got nothing. Don't waste any more time. Let's go with number two, my bogey. I felt a slight turn on the core there, and there we go. I have had a lot of luck with this number two. He's, he opens almost everything. If I only had one key, number two would be it. Anyway, guys, there you go. The multi-pick seven-piece VAG jiggler key set. 100 euros, 111 bucks. If you're a locksmith, if you open a single car for a customer, you're going to pay for the entire set. Everything after that, I think, would probably be profit. If I were a car guy, these would have to be in my bag. Anyway, guys, if you'd like to win this, stick around. I'll tell you how to do it. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway, purple band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys.